what's up guys, it's Claudio and we're at Harlem, New York for the Harlem Fixed Gear Crit and it's Thursdays with Claudio! I love this crit. First of all, Harlem, let's go. Um, and it's an open field, open. We, I'm racing with Cat 1s in here that are Cat 1s in road. And I think you just gotta be like a, a Cat 4 and above to, to ride here. Even the women's field is mixed in there, so it's like big. This thing always shoots off like a rocket, um, and uh, and you gotta you gotta move up. You gotta get get to the front group if you if that's where you want to be. You gotta hustle. It's the it's cool because it's like the kind of course that where you can pedal through everything, totally fine. And we all have most of us have like 165 millimeter cranks because we have to on our track bikes, so it's chill. We're not worried about that. And by the way, this was two weeks, not two weeks, two days before I broke my collarbone. So it was uh, whenever that was. And by the way, update, I'm like chilling. Look at my arm, look at my collarbone. If you've been following me on Instagram, you know all about my progress. Claudio underscore Fiero, give me a follow on Instagram to follow my progress. But I can lift, I mean, I'm, I'm lifting like eight pound weights now. It's been one month since my, ax, since my surgery. Let's see if you can see it. And, um, I'm kind of back. I'm doing push-ups. I'm doing. I'm starting to do some upper body strength, and um, I'm. I've been riding outside, guys. I started riding outside like less than three weeks after surgery, because I was just, I I could, and I felt fine, and I'm gonna race at Gateway. My next my next race is Gateway, and I just realized it's gonna be the first race since my accident, which is not ideal. You don't want to do that. You want to do like a, some local races. And before you go into like the big, the, the big old uh, race series, but I just, there, there aren't any races around here that, like there was supposed to be a track race today, but it got rained out. Anyways, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I don't know, uh, I don't think I have any like mental barriers about like, I don't know how much my me mental trauma it, it is there. It exists, you know, after, after you crash, you go through a period where your your mind is like not really into it. You're, it, it kind of spooks you out. I've um, I've gone on group rides. I'm fine, uh, riding around people. So I think the mental damage is minimal. My fitness is going up, guys. I've been training like, like a beast. I did like a 15 hour week last week. I'm doing 10 plus 10 to 15 hour weeks, and I'm doing like good stuff like sharpening the knives intervals the whole thing like i'm back like i'm probably gonna be faster at gateway than i was like at whenever like at uh at toad or at tulsa because i took like all this time off like shit, all this fatigue and now it starts to build like very methodically and i feel like i might be like really popping off at the end of this month so it's a gateway cup in st louis and it is uh, Labor Day weekend. It's four races, four crits. Amazing, good times. I already got my, my flight, my host housing, let's go. So stoked about that. That's gonna be the last race series of my season. We're just gonna fully send that shit, man. Uh, Harlem fixed, uh, average speed was um, 27.5, nice, right? Normalized power is like 255. I, I, I put some power down here. Oh, and by the way, we made it to 10,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for the subscriber, the subscriptions, the fans. Um, we did it. Freaking seven years. <laughs> 10K. Um, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Thank you. Uh, more content is coming. And I got people cheering me on. Let's go. Guys, I'm in the front. I remember I, my legs were feeling good. We got a little baby gap. And this is the top of the race. I'm like, I really wanted to move up. Guys, racing fixed is so smooth. I was talking to somebody about that. It's a lot easier because you can't get brake checked. You, you, and it's like, without the brake checking, without the knowing brake checking of like road cycling crits, it's smooth, you know? It's like when you normalize 250 watts, it's like a smoother 250. It's not like super spikes. It's not like in, in, a, in a, a road crit where it's like 
you're coasting and then you're doing 800 watts and then you're coasting and then you're just, you know, and you're like zone one most of the race, except for all the corners. Uh, so I like it. I, I specifically raced this because I, I like this the feeling of this. Oh man, here comes a team. Here comes uh, an attack. And um, DCC. This is classic racing 101. So the guy goes up the front, the teammate doesn't chase. And now I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, I'm not gonna go around and bridge that. And then I, I kind of get yelled at for it. But uh, well, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I ain't doing that effort. Uh, so I just, uh, I let them all do it. Let the strong guys do that. You gotta keep it smooth. And uh, I'm just sucking wheels and having a good time. I like the rear cam. I like seeing people's faces. Man, this thing is strung out. Like what is happening? I mean, we are going 31, but look at the field way back there. We're seven laps in. It's already cooking. Um, what I like doing is putting power down as you're turning. And you can do, it's a really good, it's a fun thing to do, especially in this course, because it's, it's got the wide turns. And you, it's like you get traction and you like, you, you're able to pass people. In road, you are um, in crits, like right here, you're pushing, push, look at my watch, see I'm pushing, I don't let go. You push through the turns and it's a special feeling of like you're gripping the pavement and like the traction and it gives you like this confidence in a turn that is unique as opposed to coasting. You can't coast on a fixed bike, but you can like soft pedal and uh, like no watts. Look at me, I'm like pushing through it. You know what I mean? And all I can say is that it gives you a kind of confidence and you can do that on a, in, on a road bike, on a, on a crit. And I've been doing that a lot. The thing is people break all over in the corners and on like a traditional crit and it's just, it's like, oh man, people are attacking. Oh, somebody's up the front. I couldn't tell who that was. Um, seven laps in, anyways, it's smooth. I'm into it. I'm into fixed gear uh, racing. I, I only do this, uh, I do it at track and I do it here. Not enough. I, I, if you guys uh, ever have the chance to do it, it's cool. And we have people just sitting in. Like we got sprinters here that are just sitting in. Like they don't, they do nothing, and then like 200 meters to go, bam, they unleash. <laughs> I like that. I like, I like the confidence in like a pure sprinter that just waits, just waits. Um. I kind of raced like a sprinter, but I, I didn't, I, you know, I'm not. I, I actually, I always race like a sprinter when I think about it. I'm always uh, sitting in and I never do anything. And then I wait for the last 300 meters and then I got nothing. <laughs> so I'm like a sprinter without the sprint. It's silly. I got to change that. Um, so we are eight laps in. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys what's happening here. Things are moving. Um, if you take the outside line, you can really make up some positions. I noticed that. I like the outside line. People really left it open a lot. You can tell I really want to race. I want to like really be in it, you know? Heart rate is under control, 170, chill. Look how wide this is. Look how much room we have. You know, you can take a wide line, you can really uh, if it's cluttered, if it's crowded, that that wide line is is your friend. It's not dangerous. It's chill. Um, let's see what we got here. Twenty nine miles an hour is still still an attack up there. I got one hundred sixty five millimeter cranks on my road bike, my crit bike, and I've never even scraped the pavement yet. Okay, I have. It's so nice. Oh man, Max got it flat. Sorry, Max. That's a bummer. Um, never even scraped the pavement. Like I always, in every crit, I'm, when I'm, on my old bike, I had 172.5 millimeter cranks. 
every crit I would scrape it. I wouldn't clip, but I would like I know that it would be coming, so I would like soft pedal it. And I would uh, there was always a moment where I like touched the pavement a little bit, and I knew the limit, so I wouldn't go. I wouldn't like pedal hard through it because that's dangerous. But but with the 165s on my road bike, forget it. I have so much clearance. There's no way that I'm gonna strike a pedal. We're gonna watch the last two, three laps. I'm in it. There's the front of the race. And we are cooking. 27, 28. Um, my heart rate is under control. I remember specifically feeling confident here. Something about that. Something about that feeling of of like your legs are working, you know, or like mentally you know that you're you're fit and you can do stuff. I like that. Man, so much of racing is mind. Mind games. People moving up. It's so mental, right? It's like if you f feel like you if you're confident, so many more things happen when you're confident. Uh, everything is kind of like on your side. Where did... Okay, we saw the blue uh, Linnea team member, Simon. Did he go all the way up the road? He might have been. That might have been his, his, his effort for the race. Hmm, where is he? He might, he might be up the road. Anyways, there's, so the people go up the road and uh, this is like uh, a few laps to go. Yeah, I think we're down to two laps to go right here. Let's go, Claudio. Stay in it. Find some lines take that take you up. Everyone's trying to move up. Oh my god, yeah, it's two laps. Two to go. I'm gonna watch them, how things develop. Now this is the front group. This is the main group. This is um, the field that is left. And it stayed intact. Uh Man, I, I miss this. I love seeing the faces. Like some some people are super chill. Some people are like smiling. <laughs> Lonely Hearts is smiling here the whole time. <laughs> and I wonder what my face is. I really want to see. I, I want to see that. Efforts, people moving. We know we got to move up because this thing might take off any moment. Like once it hits like above 30, it's so hard to move up, you know? It's like, uh, good luck. Good luck with that. Right now we're cruising 25, 26. It's all good. Come on, Claudio. I'm doing some efforts here out of the corners. I'm really, yeah, it's still kind of like, uh, my legs are doing work. <clears throat> Guys, I am excited to be back to racing. I miss it. Oh, there was somebody in the middle of the road. Yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. Last lap. This is coming up on last lap. Bell lap. Move up, Claudio. I miss racing and I, I want to be like, I'm really focused right now because my injury took me out. And I am, um, bell lap. My injury took me out. And what happens when you get taken out by an injury like this, a crash, some people totally just back off for a while like they'll just call it that's my season I'm done and sometimes it does the opposite it does like the like it encourages you to um, like you want payback sort of you know and like fitness wise like oh I'm gonna come back even harder than before that kind of thing so that's where I'm at I'm really training and I'm like super stoked to go back and I'm like I don't feel like I'm scared to race again so that's good I mean I don't know maybe I'll be trembling when I line up at the end of the month Claudio move up let's go this is it this is like everyone's kind of tired yeah my heart rate is up we got two more corners this is it oh there's there's Simon he probably went up the road that's what's happening and there I go let's go oh, man I'm really I really want to move up now I'm with the I'm in the top five top ten with the sprinters right here and um, yeah, I'm in great position. Last corner, let's go, Claudio. Here we go, 300 meters. Pump it, push it. <laughs> that's it, wow, that's all I had? Come on, 
600 watts? <laughs> um, I, I must have been like, I must have been totally empty. I had nothing. Wow, that's it, guys. I don't know what I got. I forgot. I'll put it up. You know, you saw it like 11th, 12th, 14th, 15th. Um, thank you so much for watching. More racing is coming. I'm going to post the Tulsa videos. I'm going to post some other stuff. Stay tuned. And uh, Gateway is coming up. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.